Now then, what about that little fella in the middle, David? David? What about him? What happened again? Well, Elliot um, had to rescue me when I shouted help because his tennis ball firing machine had gone berserk. Right. And where was this? Uh, on a tennis court. <laughs> <laughs> so you were on a tennis court? Yep. We you... That's... <laughs> That's... That's what, what you were going with! Here I am, the... racket in hand. So you were playing... Who were you all playing? All the gear. Who were you playing? Imagine it. I am imagining it. <laughs> I'm imagining it, and so are you. Yeah. <laughs> was the tennis ball machine for, for you, or was it on the neighbouring court? It was for me. Ah, so you were yeah. playing against the machine. I was, I was having oh. tennis lessons. From him? Right. Yes. He was, oh. He's a tennis coach. Could you tell us, tell us which court? Uh, it's, uh, you know, Wimbledon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's a court at a tennis club near where I live in London. OK. So I'm, I'm not willing to vague. specify mm. any more than that. But if you can believe... No, don't worry about it, David. Even the stalkers don't want to come and find you. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're learning to play tennis with the aid of a machine and this, this gentleman. Even the stalkers... <laughs> ..don't what? want to come and find you. <laughs> they come round to the yeah. dressing room door and say, I want my pants Me? back, they weren't meant for you. <laughs> How long have you had tennis lessons for, brother? I've, I just had a few last summer. How would you put a bit of backspin on a ball? Uh, well, you, you, you slightly slice downwards through the ball. Oh. David, when you were... <laughs> 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 Goodness me, you haven't been out in a while, have you? <laughs> David, when you were getting hit by these balls... Yes. How, how many hit you? Why don't you just move out of the way? It's not, it's I not... couldn't get out of the way. Why? Because of the sheer pace of the how bombardment. Quick? Absolutely. <laughs> it, was a, it was an intense bombardment. I was trapped. <laughs> Initially, I tried to use the skills that Elliot had equipped me with in order to dispatch the balls. I think on some level I was fearful that the machine might develop a way of collecting them. <laughs> because <laughs> my, my only hope was it would eventually run out of these balls. But was he feeding more balls in and grinning? He, no, he, he, he wasn't. He'd gone over to... It was yes, the, this is an interesting aspect of this. Oh, because... I'm glad there is one. <laughs> <laughs> Where was Elliot? He, he'd gone down to a neighbouring court to start uh, his next lesson. So he said, I'm leaving you, I'm going to put this machine yeah, put on. put the machine on. Oh, no! Yeah. I've accidentally put it on the pointlessly fast and never needed setting. <laughs> <laughs> Has this traumatised you to the point where now you do you still play a bit of tennis? You, oh, you it have... didn't traumatise me, didn't? to be honest. Okay. But I, I did... haven't... Actually, I haven't played against a, a machine before. I mean, right. obviously, it makes us... Always think about when the machines do turn. We'll eventually take what, over. What's, yeah. it, what's <laughs> it going to be like? And it'll, I don't think it'll just be tennis balls. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Blimey, they're uh, brilliant. We stories. need an answer. So, is Elliot Stevens' high flying helper, Gemma's tough trainer, or David's rapid responder? I, I think it's, it's David that's telling the truth. You think David was hit with tennis balls? to the point where he couldn't move because he thought he was accidentally trapped in a 1970s sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the flight steward one? Because that, that Flight steward? Work. I mean, he screams flight steward. And the only thing about that story that I didn't quite believe, Stephen, yeah. is that you said, oh, I can stretch out in the toilets. The bit that I don't believe about Stephen's story is that at no point he asked, how long was I in there for? And also, wouldn't you have known because you'd have gone in, oh, we're over Paris or something? If he's going over Paris from America to Manchester, he's lost. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you think it's David? I think Gemma. Do you think you... Gemma? I, th I think it might be Gemma as well. Yeah. Let's do yeah. it, yeah. Let's Should we go with Gemma? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go yeah. with Gemma. Saying Gemma. So, Elliot, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Elliot, and Gemma broke out of our weight loss group. <laughs> yeah! is Gemma's tough trainer. Thank you very much, Elliot. Well done, Elliot.